What's up, Taurus? How's it going? Welcome to your weekly love reading. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you guys are doing well. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, y'all. Make sure you also check out your entire month of May readings. There's general as well as the singles. All right, here we go, guys. Hair in my mouth. First card out is the Nine of Coins. Hold on, guys. Sorry. There's like cat hair all over my face. <laughs> Three of Swords reversed. Two of Wands. Queen of Swords. Queen of Wands. Page of Wands. Eight of Wands. Okay, guys, so you yourself are coming in as the Nine of Coins, Three of Swords, Reverse. So um, you are real independent right now. Um, probably okay being by yourself. It's like you've gotten yourself to a point where you don't feel like you need another person to be happy. Doesn't mean that like you want to be single for forever or whatever, um, but you're cool with it. Now here with the Three of Swords reverse, you're getting over some kind of a hurt here. Some kind of a heartbreak. Let's see, what is that? Oh shit, lying across the table. Ooh, the Ace of Wands, and you have a new beginning. So you're getting over some kind of heartbreak. You've gotten yourself to the point where you feel like you're okay being codependent. I mean, not codependent, Jesus. No, we don't want to do that. <laughs> you feel like you're okay being independent. Um, so now you have this new beginning here. It's There's a lot of attraction. There's a lot of chemistry with this new beginning. And the Nine of Cups, it's like wish fulfillment for you. Um, it's, you know, being content. And this is also the same energy kind of as the Nine of Coins. It's like being emotionally fulfilled on your own so that you can like have something to offer someone else emotionally. It's not like you're trying to fill a void or anything um, because you, you're coming, you're coming across like a healed person. Um, but there is a new beginning here, super hot. We don't know if it goes any, any far past that, but it looks like exactly what you wished for, exactly what you manifested. All right, recent past two of wands, Aries. This is just about picking which direction you want to go in your life. Um, you know, picking a new direction, maybe having two different paths you could take here. Two different people, maybe. In your present, you have the Queen of Swords. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So this can be you taking on that energy. It's being very logic-minded, very head over heart, straightforward. Um, good with communication. Definitely like no bullshit. <clears throat> Get one on that Queen of Swords. Knight of Cups. Younger Water. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. But this, it doesn't have to be a water sign. They don't have to be younger. It's just that kind of like energy where, you know, when something's new and like nothing bad's happened. So it's still like <clears throat> real sweet, real datey, real innocent. Not innocent like childlike but um there's no kind of like weird tension yet it's like emotional expression without like any kind of like cynicism let's get another one on that the moon reverse pisces so this is about something coming out it could be you know it could just have come out that somebody has feelings for you or you could have revealed that to somebody else um, could be dealing with a Pisces here, but don't have to be. Actually, I'm going to grab this other deck. Why is the moon reversed here for Taurus? Oh, the Ace of Cups. Yeah, it's there's something that like you kind of weren't expecting, wasn't known. Maybe somebody wasn't making their feelings known, and now they are. Um, this is being emotionally open. It's seeing everything clearly. It's putting everything out there, being real honest. So you've got two aces here. We've got attraction and we have emotion. I mean, that's pretty fucking awesome. All right, your potential obstacle though is the page of wands. Why is the page of wands an obstacle? Are you just not speaking to anybody? You're not reaching out to them? 
Are you not responding to them? What is it? Why is the Page of Wands an obstacle for Taurus? Oh my gosh, the Two of Cups. All right, you might be dealing with somebody that's still connected to another soulmate. Um, doesn't even have to mean that they're in a relationship. There just might be some kind of connection here that they haven't let go of yet. Um, it, this could also just be the commitment is an issue. There's a lot happening here with attraction and feelings, but I don't see any commitment yet. So it could be that somebody is just kind of trying to keep it just like attraction based and not wanting to actually commit currently. I mean, it could be you, you might just like being single. All right, let's get another one on that. Strength reversed Leo. Could be dealing with a Leo. This is somebody who's kind of like, it looks like somebody who's lacking the courage to commit or they don't feel strong enough to let another person go, even if they're not actually with them. Um, like confidence might be an issue here. All right. Um, Immediate future, we have the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This again with the attraction. This is somebody who's physically attractive, um, goal-driven, very like the kind of person that goes after what they want, whether this is you or the person that you're dealing with. Excitable, outgoing, you know. Five of Cups reversed. All right, so if you are dealing with a person that is not yet over someone from their past, it looks like they get over it here in the, in the near future. This is like having a more positive mindset, coming out of like a negative sort of hopeless mentality and being like, um, you know, confident and excited about life. Yeah, Three of Swords. It's somebody, and you're already getting over some kind of Three of Swords shit here, but it's still happening here in the future where somebody had, you know, some kind of betrayal, some kind of hurt that had them stuck in like a real hopeless place for quite some time, and they're coming out of it. And there you go. There's that Two of Cups. Um, we had it down here as an obstacle. So I think what's happening is it's just taking some time because somebody here, likely both of you, um, have been through some shit and one of you might be more um, more likely to commit than the other one. Like it might be you that's more healed from your shit than they are and they just might not have the confidence, but it looks like they come out of that energy here in the future because we have the two of cups here, right? Soulmate shit and we have a ton, so it's whatever, but um, you do have that. It is a balanced connection, all right? Your advice here, and I will pull your energy with the different signs too. Um, your advice is the Eight of Wands. This is about going for it. It's about having fun, going after what you want. Um, it's a lot of communication, a lot of action. Like, yeah, it's a lot of talking, but it's not just that. It's things actually happening as well. Um, this person can be at a bit of a distance from you, but if that's the case, it's not going to be an issue. Why is the Eight of Wands here for Taurus? King of Wands. You've got the King and Queen of Wands now. Divine counterpart shit here. Lots of attraction. Like the attraction in this connection is off the fucking charts. I love it. This is Cupid's Arrows. It's shoot your shot card. Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> so here's what I see happening. The passion, the attraction um, is all happening very fast. The commitment is very slow because somebody's just being cautious. This is about taking the commitment part really slow, you know, so you know what you get yourself into. So they know what they're getting themselves into. But the actual attraction, like the sex part, that's like um, from the door. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, let's get you some romance oracles and then I'll get your energy with the different signs. What does Taurus need to hear?
children. Your love life is being affected by children. Oh, okay. Playfulness to recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Well, I think that's happening here. I think it is. All right, I'm going to get you an oracle to, or two from this deck. And this is like if you have somebody that you maybe aren't in communication with um, and want to know what's going on in their mind, or maybe you are in communication with them, but they just aren't expressing how they feel. So this is going to be, you know, like a message or two from them, whoever's on your mind there. It's what they would like to tell you, but they can't for whatever reason. All right, what does Taurus need to hear? What does this person want to say to Taurus this week? I want you. <laughs> well, that's probably this fucking person because the attraction is crazy. I love you, Jesus. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far right now unless this is somebody you've known for quite some time because what? <laughs> That freaks me out. All right, um, here we go with your different signs. Majors you have here, you have Pisces, Leo. Is that it? Okay, Taurus dealing with Aries. The Fool, you have Aries card for Aries. So they're ready to jump right into something with you. They're just, they don't even, they're not even looking for you know whatever bad shit might happen they're just ready they're they're ready to go Taurus and Taurus five of wands you guys don't get along very well there's a lot of drama maybe some competition some jealousy I mean you guys probably both of you trying to you know keep control and that might be an issue Taurus and Gemini ten of swords reversed um if you had a thing with a Gemini and there was a painful ending they're not over it yet um, if you don't have anything happening with a Gemini and you just are interested in one, they're not over something in their life that's, it's got them in like a really shitty place. Taurus and Cancer. Oh, Four of Wands. Um, if you're dealing with a Cancer, this is 11-11, soulmate shit. They are looking for long term. Um, they can offer you that stability, the whole family life thing. What's the matter, Scrimples? What was that little noise, honey? Taurus and Leo, two of swords reversed. It, they're um, coming out of some kind of indecision. They might feel like they made the wrong decision coming out of like denial. Taurus and Virgo, wheel of fortune. So you have some kind of a faded connection here with a Virgo. Doesn't necessarily mean it's like your forever person or whatever, but you're meant to meet them for some reason. They're part of like your life path. And if there were obstacles between the two of you, they have been removed. It's like now's your time. Taurus and Libra, Knight of Wands, very hot, lots of attraction, not very consistent, not very serious. Taurus and Scorpio, Eight of Pentacles reverse. That's a lot of repeated patterns and they might work too much for a, a love life. Taurus and Sagittarius, Seven of Swords. So you're either gonna um, catch them doing something here. They're hiding something. What is it? Two of Pentacles reverse. So they might be juggling two people and being shady about it. Taurus and Capricorn, Nine of Cups reverse. They're codependent. Um, Taurus and Aquarius, Ten of Pentacles. So um, that has the potential for long-term long-term stability like very long-term like living together getting married whatever Taurus and Pisces six of wands reversed um you could have a Pisces it feels like they lost you <clears throat> this is also somebody who is very insecure but it comes off as arrogance you know they might not have the confidence to even like approach you all right, Taurus, thanks for being here, you guys. Take care.